have arrived at the old man of store. Okay. There is plenty of parking here. Uh, we're gonna go and pay for parking, but before we do that, I need to change these flip flops to my hiking shoes because there's no way I'm gonna be able to hike up there flip with flip flops on. So parking is so up to three hours is three pound, then five pound for up to six hours. So we're gonna go on this little hike. I don't know how long this hike is for, but we'll let you guys know at the end how long yeah, it took us. We'll let you guys know. We've got two young children as well, so and I'm pregnant. So we're just starting the first part of the hike up to the old man of store. Okay, and let's have a look at this information board because you know I'm all about information boards. Okay, we're gonna have a little read of this. So this is the distance that you're gonna be walking, 2.75 miles, and then it's two hours return. It's an hour there and an hour back, so that's the average walker. So you've given them more than enough time, an extra hour and 38 minutes. So I like stop up there, have a can of pop and stuff, and just admire the view, yeah. Because the view's meant to be really nice up there, you know. I mean, we, yeah, the view's nice from here, as you can see, but up there, you've got more of a higher altitude to look down from. Right. Let's go for these gates. And you've just got sheep running along the road. <laughs> look at them. Oh, it's, it's mama sheep with our two babies. I'm gonna shout, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're off again. I wonder where they're going. You think they're going to the waterfall that we're going to? <laughs> they're like, I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Look at this beauty, guys. It's much better through the naked eye than it is through the camera. It's just stunning. So we're halfway up the climb, um, views are just spectacular, all around, full 360 guys, just absolutely beautiful. And the children are just cooling off on this fresh water stream that's coming down from the, I think it's coming down from the old man of storm, I'm not too sure where it actually comes from, but they said it's ice cold. Is that cold guys? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah? Are you drinking it or are you just washing your faces down? I'm not sure but I think you could. So about three quarters of the way up the walk and I must say I'm so proud of Stephanie and the children hiking this far already. Especially you. How pregnant you are Stephanie. <laughs> Absolutely unreal you are. Um, I keep asking her, are you okay? Do you want to have a rest? And some water and stuff. She's like, oh no, no. I was struggling more, me or Stephanie. <laughs> Doesn't help I've got like a big backpack full of stuff. But somebody's got to carry the water. Um, you're carrying the baby's waters. <laughs> Baby joke for you there. <laughs> it's worth it though. Keep telling yourself that. You get to the top, it's gonna be worth it. Oh, my word, honestly. It's really pretty though. Even just walking halfway up, it's definitely worth it. We have a view like this, okay? Oh, my word. A view like this, guys. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Just as you think it's all over, when you've walked all the way up there, you've got these huge, gigantic steps of stairs to climb up. Look at this, guys. You've got all of these stairs to climb up, all the way up there, to like the where that point is up here. So we've hiked all the way from down there, all the way up. We've only got a little bit more to go. <laughs> How are you finding it, Stephanie? Oh, it's a good hike, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 
um, well, plenty of estrogen will fine. Yeah, we'll stop and every time we feel a bit like exhausted, don't we? I brought plenty of cans of pop and water. It's lovely views, mate. And I think we might watch the big family dinosaurs since it was casted here. Yeah. And we have to watch a movie, don't we? Yeah, we'll all sit up and watch the BFG. But honestly, it's well worth the view, isn't it, the hike? Yeah, I just wish that I had a more length of shorts because I'm sweating more than anything else. Yeah, it's it's not too bad because when you get to a certain point, the, the store behind me, up there, it just it shades you like from all of the the sun like, as you can see down there it must be like roasting where the sun is but because the stores here the old man of store it's a like, kind of like shading us from all of it so it's not too bad what's stephanie done and we bumped into a lovely family as well didn't we from devil yeah somebody else is up here from newcastle so there's a few of us geordies up here hanging around no, willing to take they? on the old man of store yeah they said but, well done guys um and we asked if it was much further and he said it's not too much further yeah because they were carrying their little one in the back weren't they yeah, yeah. and they'll yeah. say just take your time with you being, being pregnant. pregnant and stuff yeah. but um i did ask you if you wanted to do it when we we're at the bottom and you said you could do it didn't you um so yeah, i can do it as long as i rest I'm yeah fine. just little by little one step at a time isn't it yeah. but it's just it's just beautiful as you get further up i was going to say that's where the big friendly jacket's bear was but <laughs> there's a lot of Probably, yeah, <laughs> probably it's dinner plate. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's really cool at this point, isn't it? Yeah, you can hike up there as well, but I don't think I'll be hiking up there anytime soon. So we're heading for that point there. So, gotta walk along there. So there's no more rocks, it's all just like a footpath now, but I think we've beat the, 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 the steep of it. I think, so, I think yeah. we've just got the steep of it there. So we've just hiked the old man of store. We've literally surpassed it. There it is there in the background. And it just looks so, so beautiful. And the view out there, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it is just so, so stunning. Um, but they say the best viewing point is up on that table up there. There's a kid just hiking up there on the side. Well, that's the next step for us to get the best view from up there. Uh, you can just stop here if you want to. It was a bit of a tricky walk, I will say that. And then from this angle, it looks like a giant peace sign. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids have seen a rabbit living in a rabbit hole just there. So me and Logan are taking it to the top. Mum, Sean, and Dion, and Caleb are staying down there because li literally got to climb this entire cliff edge, and they're just well. There's no way Stephanie's going to be able to do this. I love hiking, so I'm just. Yeah. You can't, Caleb, son. I, ca I can't look after you and Logan. I can only look after Logan, one person at a time. Or you can walk right up there, and it's just slippy as anything. That little footpath there. So we're going to take this way up here. Um, they got the store there, and now me and Logan have got to make it just to that point up there. This is probably way slippy because there's loads of rocks. On the yeah, floor. yeah. Well, with Caleb and his disabilities, it's just not not possible for him to get that far. And then Stephanie being pregnant, and I think Sean and Dion. They I don't think have hiking shoes. They've got no hiking shoes, have they? <laughs> yeah, they took the train. As me, and Logan's taking the hiking shoes. So we're gonna make it to the top, and we'll catch you guys up there. So me and Logan, we've made it to the top. Yep. What do you think of the view? Very good, because I didn't expect this to be this good. It's stunning, isn't it? You doing, Logan? I'm me, and you're doing the draw, and I'm stacking loads of rocks and stuff. You made it to the top of Old Manor Store? How old are you? Ah, the top. Well, that's the top up there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? Eight, yeah. eight years of age, and you've climbed a mountain. <laughs> hey, my word. Absolutely beautiful up here, guys. It really is. It's just stunning full 360 all the way around you could literally just spend the full day up here just just chilling with this view behind me it's just like breathtaking anybody else who's actually claimed the old manor store will know exactly what i'm experiencing right now but it's just overall absolute beauty that's met this american guy this american guy came over with his dog his dog had like tiny little tiny little legs <laughs> and it walked all the way at the top and i was like wow because to be honest with you, I'm, I was even struggling taking this and Stephanie and 
Caleb have done absolutely great and you've just got to know when to stop and I don't expect anything less from her or anything more um, she did absolutely great to get as far as she did she's just at the bottom of this hill down here but um, you got to know when it's safe when it's not safe with her being pregnant and I say to her I say Stephanie just leave this one out and she says oh come on Sean I'll be okay I was like no seriously Stephanie like there's there's like virgins that go on like that uh, they go like that kind of thing they've got like little pocket holes in them like foot footholds where you can like lock your feet in and then i showed her them and she's like yeah you're right i can't i can't claim that it just wouldn't be right wouldn't be safe because if anything did happen how the hell would you get a pregnant woman off a mountain like this you'd have to get a helicopter wouldn't you a helicopter or a plane <laughs> <laughs> a helicopter would have to come come down and, and get her but um anyways stephanie if you're watching i love you sweetie and there's no shame in taking an l no shame at all. Okay, you haven't really lost. You, you really did. You got, got to the top. You just never got to the, the best viewing point. But, um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I just had the drone up there. It's just memories to last a lifetime. That's what they are. But I'm going to get a few Instagram pictures for me and Logan to go over on our Instagram. So now we're exploring a little bit more of the store, just me and Logan, and there's sheep, yeah, and rams, shall I say. I think they're goats, actually. Oh, it's a boy, the boy sheep, one of them is. Um, but it's a nice little walk down through the store itself. It's just absolutely beautiful, that's what I've got to say about it all. I think I've probably said it a thousand times in this video, but it's definitely worth the walk if you're looking to come to the old man of store. You have to hike, like you don't know what. You're probably going to lose a few cheeseburgers in weight, but seriously, it's worth it. Especially when you come to views such as this. So yeah, you can walk through the actual like center of the store. There's like a footpath that you can do. Um, and I thought, well, I'm here. I might never come back. I might as well do both routes. Do the route we just done with Stephanie and the kids. Do a bit more torrential route. He's lost. Baby one. To the baby one. Come on, we'll look yeah. after you and come yeah. home with us. Should we adopt them? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there's another thing you'll find. There's loads of sheep in the round the they store as well. Oh, no, I think it's his mum. I love this too. Yeah, oh yeah, he's probably calling for its baby. So Stephanie's all the way down there. And we're all the way up here. Up here. We literally went round the back of that part there of the store. We went round the back of that. We came down through here. So we've walked back down the old man of store. I must say it was definitely worth the view. Um, but Stephanie feels that she's let the team down by not getting to the best viewing point. But you still walked to the man, the old man of store, Stephanie. Yeah, we walked just past the night. The old yeah, man you you made it. You made the walk. You, you did all the big steps, but it was just that last incline. I just thought it was too dangerous for you to go. Yeah, and I felt honestly, I felt beat. Yeah, these midges um, are loving us tonight, aren't they? I know they are. Um, but yeah, I think because we've seen a couple of YouTube videos on it, and I think they make it look a lot easier than what it is. Yeah, yeah. You call us unfit, it might be that. I don't know what it is, but, I, but nobody ever shows themselves these midges are mental tonight. Nobody ever shows you like the full walk and says, oh, like this is how many steps you're gonna have to like go up and 
the different points and stuff and how how steep it is to actually get to the best viewing point. Didn't you say it was like two and a half miles up and two and a half miles 2. down? 2.7 up and I yeah. think 2.7 back. It's it's a really intense walk. So you, if, you, if you have watched these YouTube videos that make it look like it's all just like easy from bottom to the top, it's not. It's a hike. It's probably one of the hardest ones I've done in a long, long time. Um, didn't you say you were like 100 feet up when you got to the very My top? My drone says I was at 100 feet. Wow. Because normally make measures from sea level. Yeah. Um, but it was 100 feet. From sea level then? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, could be about 100 feet. I might be wrong. I just looked at my drone and said I was at 100 feet. But um, definitely not what it looks like on some people's videos that I've watched. It's not like a straight up walk and you're there. It is a back breaking, it's leg a hike. breaking walk. Yeah. It is it's a, a big hike. hike. you got to be Uphill pretty fit. Hike. I'm not trying to put anybody off of coming to do it. No, I mean, the children have done it and they've survived. We've yeah. Just plenty of like. And Stephanie made it to the top and you're pregnant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, um, I know. We're going to have to get heading off back down, guys. So, be fam, this is where we are staying for the night. We've just put up our tents and we are staying just opposite this beautiful view over here. The sun is setting on the other side of the island and we're just looking out to this beautiful sea view of the island in the middle and this is where the boat trip down at Port Reed takes you to see dolphins and seals so we're hoping that when we're on our rooftop tents just up here that we can possibly look out and see seals so as I was saying because the van just came down here and there's not much room we got the last ones on the very end and I've left enough room over here for him to do a u-turn but he's decided to reverse back so I've put the camera down because I had to move the fire pit that I've got at the back of the van and put it on these rooftop tents and the flames are cooled down so it's just letting off a bit of heat um, I'm keeping an eye on it just for any ambers that might go but I'm not expecting it um, doesn't seem like that will happen but as I was saying before we're just gonna keep a little watch out on top of here for dolphins and seals and we'll try and get a little bit of a zoom in of the camera if we see any but yeah how cool is that um, we couldn't get a boat trip because it was overbooked um, and now we are actually sleeping outside of where the boat would have taken you it's just bizarre how things work but it's absolutely great guys I'm loving life at the moment Stephanie and the kids are as well um, well I'm gonna put some burgers on the barbecue and I'll catch you guys up a little bit later on so we've got Dion and Sean doing the lettuce for the burgers there's the burgers that just came off the barbecue um, and then me and Logan are going to do the Ooh. spring onions because they didn't have any red onions in the crop. It's so cold outside because it is a little chilly. I think it's because we're right next to the sea aren't we? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I put in my jumper on. Yeah. Nice and warm. Oh and some nice length for length pants as well. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So we have our lettuce, we have our buns, we have some yeah. spring onions, our burgers that Sean's cooked on the barbecue and we have some sauce and we're just going to sit in the van and have tonight's tea because I think it's a bit chilly to sit outside. True. So we have just finished up with our tea tonight but honestly guys talk about having a view while you're having something to eat. Have you seen the moon? Have you seen that? You guys can put a set up. Look at that. That's the view we've got at the moment guys, it's just beautiful. The moon's like an orangey reddy kind of thing. Oh, no. Absolutely Huge. delicious. Huge. Delicious. That's because I've just said <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. But it's oh, absolutely huge. Just lovely sitting here with this view and having but something to eat. The only problem is I'm trying to charge my drone on the battery. Yeah. And the inverter's not the transferring the uh, transferring the power. It's not working, it's not charging it. Yeah. Um, I think I'll have a boot campsite for tomorrow to just to get, just to get some electric. Yeah, well, I'm come to a roadblock, but we'll have to get around it. I mean, it's not the end of the trip, but it makes the trip a bit more entertaining, you know, and more like enjoyable. It wouldn't be in Argos as well, would they? Nearby, by, by. You'd have to drive right down to the whole Williams Park. Yeah, another three hours drive, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Another three places that I've got to visit requires a drone, basically, because the scenery is just beautiful. But anyway, you have to go for that, yeah. That's just how things roll. 